What's happening guys, it's Chris at Wigan Kawasaki I'm not at Wigan Kawasaki, I'm currently riding the uh, Kawasaki W800 Cafe up towards Rivington and Belmont Now a few of us were having a chat the other week about how we sort of promote feature bikes, you know, show you new models, features uh, new products in the uh, in the dealership when it comes to riding gear, obviously the bikes themselves um, and I had a little thought of why don't we start using some of the products that we recommend I mean for example you know anyone who will give me the time of day in the shop will know that uh, I'm a massive fan of, uh, of Knox gloves for example I don't wear anything but due to uh, an incident that happened to myself so I am now sort of addicted to Knox gloves uh, so obviously as you can see I'm wearing my Knox pods which are very comfortable so I thought why not use a product that we sell which is the drift camera to promote products that we sell so you can not only you know have us telling you about them in the shop but sort of seeing them in action seeing how they're working in, in sort of real time So the drift camera I'm using is available in the store now, we do have them in stock. I'm going to be using the helmet mount, obviously that it's attached to. Obviously the microphone, as you can hear me talking to myself. The shoulder mount. And also the handlebar slash crash bar clamp as well, for some uh, riding shots without you listening to my voice. Now, the, uh, the reason I decided to do the first video on the W800 is partly because it's a bike that probably in the past I wouldn't have bat an idol batted an eyelid at. Uh, it's not generally my style of bike. Uh, I'm not someone that's into classic and, and retro bikes. I have very little experience with them and knowledge of them, if I'm being brutally honest. But this one, uh, this one caught me by surprise because it's it's a massive, massive amount of fun to ride. Uh, good torquey, fast revving engine, which I expect it to almost feel a tad sluggish, if I'm honest. But it stops well with its new brakes. It's got ABS. LED headlight, taken from the uh, Z900RS. So obviously, conditions like now, visibility-wise for myself and people coming towards me is pretty good. Although it hasn't stopped people pulling out on me yet. Obviously, being a retro style bike, you're going to get vibrations. But obviously, it is a characteristic of the bike. But it does add to the whole experience of riding the bike. It's uh, the handling on it's it's great. It's uh, it's a massive laugh. It wags and waves like a like a true retro should. You know, you'll be going around the corner, you'll just feel the back end giving a bit of a step every now and then. Nothing dangerous, it's just, again, characteristics of this style of bike. But it just makes for a really, really enjoyable ride. I do find myself, when I'm not talking to myself, trying to act all professional, get just constantly laughing and giggling away to myself because it is just a massive riot. Now, the one I'm riding at the minute is the Cafe model. So it is the Cafe Racer style bike out of the two. So you've got the drop down Cafe Racer style bars, the bikini fairing, and the uh, sculpted Cafe Racer style seat, as well as the magnesium grey paint job with the uh, matching sort of silver accents on the cowl and the side panels. The one thing I think Kawasaki have got very, very right with this bike is the exhaust, which hopefully you can hear now. The tone on it is really raspy, it's racy, it crackles. You know, it's it's not what I expected. The old W800 did sound a tad like a sewing machine until you fought out for extra exhaust, paying a bit more money, obviously. But to come from the factory with a sound like this is uh, is brilliant, really. Well, it's just a massive laugh to ride, I love it. Now, the other reason I decided to ride this bike tonight is, as some of you have probably uh, seen, 
is that myself and Rod will be doing the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride on the 29th of September. So we'll be getting all dappered up in our tweed and our best, our best gigs and raising a bit of money for prostate cancer research and men's mental health. So I thought I'd get reacquainted with the uh, with the W, as it's been a little while since I've ridden it, due to the weather and family and work commitments. So the W800 is a true retro. It's you know no fuel gauge, no gear indicator, you know very little in the way of trip computer technology wise. You're into ABS, LED headlight. You know the the dials the dials are all retro. The switches are all retro style. Spot wheels. It's, it's a cracking piece of kit, but it's nice and compact. It's a lot. It's smaller than the old bike was. It actually only shares one percent of the parts that the old bike had. Brilliant piece of kit. And even though, like I say, it's only an 800 cc 45 brake horsepower parallel twin, it's not doesn't feel sluggish in any way, shape, or form picks up fast enough five speed gearbox is nice and crisp the clutch is light the brakes are brilliant as I've already said the suspension is really good as well just careful with these cars I don't go over Belmont that much so I should probably practice this one a bit more but Seems pretty clear tonight. Alright, so I'm going to shut up for a bit, run down the road, swap the camera around into a couple of new positions, and uh, just let you sort of ride along as daft as that sounds.
Right guys, that's it. That's the first uh, vlog star video done. I uh, hope you all liked it. I obviously enjoyed making it. I do enjoy riding at night, so that was always uh, a bit of a bonus really for me. So like I said at the start, the video was was filmed on the drift camera, which we do have in stock. I'll put the details on the uh, on the post. If you're interested, I'm wearing my Knox Android Pod gloves, which are a shorter cuff version of the Android sort of race style gauntlet glove, which I also have and use. I'm wearing an Urbane Pro armor jacket, which can be used as an under jacket, which I'm currently using under a Kawasaki hoodie, or as a jacket in itself, as it is fully abrasion resistant and comes fully armored. Um, to the W800, uh, it's no secret, no lie, that I do absolutely adore this bike. It's not a bike you'd usually associate me with, although my styles have changed recently over the last couple of years. But uh, if you were to compare it to its competitors, I think price wise, it's priced very well for what it is. I mean, we have got a, a very good offer on these at the moment uh, with up to £800 off list price on the W800 Cafe and 700 off the street model. Uh, it's more compact than some of its competitors. It revs higher, obviously it's got a higher displacement than the likes of the Enfield Twins for example. More compact which I quite like, it does aid to the handling, the brakes are phenomenal. The clutch is very very light, the gear change is very crisp. Handles like it's on rails but with all the charm of a of a classic bike, you know it wags and weaves and ducks, it's does everything what you'd expect a classic bike to do without the fear of it throwing you off probably. <laughs> now this obviously is our demonstrator model, I'm lucky enough to be able to use it for these sorts of purposes, but if you do want to um, you know, try this out for yourself you are obviously more than welcome to do so. All you need to do is either nip in or give us a bell. I would highly recommend it because I think even if even if sort of this isn't your normal style of bike and you're just sort of a bit curious, um, the bike is good enough to maybe not necessarily sway you because everyone has their own style of bike, but appreciate what it is, what it does, you know, the way it rides. It's 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 a classic bike built in a classic way, but modern where it where it counts. You know, it shares only one percent of the parts of the pre uh, of the previous bike. Like I say, all new brakes, practically everything's brand new to be fair. Nice compact package. I've had a, a massive amount of fun tonight riding this. Great round town, nice and easy, nice and nimble. Brilliant on the back rows, plenty of torque in the straights. You know, you're not going to give the, uh, the Lancer Z Extension 60s a run for the money, don't get me wrong, but it's plenty fast enough. We don't do racing in town centres. It's not appropriate. So that's it, I think. So, like I said, me and uh, me and Rod, just to add this bit of the end, me and Rod will be doing the distinguished uh, gentleman's ride on the 29th of September. I'll be riding this, and Rod will be riding our uh, Candy Tone Brown Z1 Z900 RS. We'll be getting all dappered up. Obviously having a nice day, but more importantly, raising money for prostate cancer research and men's mental health. Two, uh, two causes that mean quite a lot to myself, which is why I've decided to get involved. So if you'd like to donate, please feel free. I can add the link to the, uh, to the post. Uh, otherwise, you know, a lot of it is just me spreading awareness so if you did want to go onto the distinguished gentleman's ride page and just find out a little bit about what they're doing that would be obviously not a problem at all. Right, I'm getting near home now so uh, I'll see you later.